Welcome back. My daughter's car, a Honda HRV that she leased, got bumped in the back. We're going to try to make this look a little bit better ourselves doing some DIY paintless dent repair. And if not, it's going to get sent to the body shop. Let's see what we could do with this to make it look a little bit better. We need to get access behind the panel here to get some of our tools in. This thing actually, I already popped it out. Pry on those little tabs and get this thing to come out. You got a clear shot to look inside. Now, I wish there was another one over here, but no such luck. But we'll see what we uh, can do with this. We have our uh, implements of destruction that I bought years ago but never mastered this. So we're gonna learn today. We are gonna also remove this whole inner panel. These little covers over here to get to the lights, they pop out. Everything is attached with little green clips. We pry this one out over here because it latches into the top of that. Same thing on this side. We have all of these popped free. And if you look inside, there's a few more deep in there that are holding the top of it on. We're gonna slowly work our way to get these all off. Once you pry this end down, you could come in here with a little tool, stick your arm in and pop the rest of these free and the whole thing will uh, come right off. Now we have clear access to the back over here to see if we could work out our uh, dents. This one right here, I just pushed it out with my finger. This one with the crease is gonna be difficult here, but we're gonna see what we can do. We'll make it look better, hopefully than what it is, and hopefully be passable. I have an idea to uh, hide some of this if necessary. So let's see what we can do with this. Let's uh, get our tools out and see what we can come up with. This panel happens to be very open, which is gonna work very well in our favor. I have a bunch of these little nylon punches that we're just gonna go and start to uh, slowly tap the metal back to where it should be. Just have to position it somewhere where I'm not working upside down, but we're gonna knock on a few of these right now and get them uh, back up a little bit better. Let's start on this one right here, that nasty crease. I'm gonna work from the middle over that way and over, or maybe right from that edge and see, we'll work our way up. First in, last out. That's what you have to remember. What I'm doing right now is actually using the light to see where it's actually dented in. There's two little smaller dings right here, one and two. So we're just gonna look at them from the inside and start to work them out slowly. We already started on one that was there. That one's better, not 100%. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem area because we have some, these braces in the way. We have to go in there with our prying tools and maybe a block of wood over here to work against those. But let's work these two dings now. See if we can get them out. Take a peek at where they are right there. Here and here. These are two dings that were there. They're pretty good head on, but if you look from the side, you could still see there's a little bit of a wrinkly wave over there. Better than that, working on this here still. Much better. We need to get behind these two, and that brace is right there. So we're gonna try using the uh, prying tools and a little block of wood to push this whatever out. Little thing over there. Better. 
That needs a little more work. Let's work on these nasty spots even more. Yeah, using the pry tool to work out on that. Kind of see we're making a little too many high spots, but it's the only way I can get in there with that. Prying up on that line, you can see in the reflection working right there. That little low spot there. Continue doing that. Okay, how did we do? Eh, okay. Like I said, I'm not an expert. There's lots of little uh, bumpy spots, I guess you would want to call. But I have a plan and hopefully it'll work out. But it requires me ordering something and waiting. So that's what we're going to do. So in the meantime, I might play with that a little bit better and get something in the mail. That is the best that I could do with this. And as you could see, it isn't perfect. But what if we disguise it? I'm going to paint this whole area in here satin black. It'll cut down on the gloss. And I have a chrome molding stick on that we're going to run underneath to uh, disguise all of this. If it looks good, we'll be successful. If not, it'll go to the body shop and let them fix it. But we're going to do this first. I'm going to clean this real well, give it a very, very, very light scuffing and just a uh, satin black paint. I tape a line off here. Cover the little chipped paint over here and the molding could stick right on the top of the edge of that. We are all cleaned, lightly scuffed, masked off. They sell fine line masking tape in a pinch. You could just use electrical tape. So that's what I did around the bends over here. The molding is probably gonna overlap a little bit. So I came down a little bit more than needed so you won't have any uh, blue showing once the molding gets put in place. Let's uh, give this a spritz now. A few coats of black paint and we gotta unmask this. Okay, all painted and dry. Now we just have to wait for our chrome molding to arrive and put that around that little edge. I wish it was wider. I had a wider one, but I couldn't get it to make the bend. We'll see if we're gonna live with that, or maybe I will double it up with another one around here to get a little more width. But I'm happy with that. Looks factory. The finished product. The chrome alone wasn't gonna cut it, so I added another black molding in here, and another one that spaced off a little bit in between with a little bit of a gap in between there that'll do cover up any damage make the car look good if you like this video give me a favor like subscribe thank you for watching where are you going <laughs>